Good morning and welcome to Provender Nurseries. Today we are throwing the spotlight on skimmias. Um, skimmia, it's a great stalwart plant, it's a great background plant. Um, it's very, very useful for ericaceous positions and can be happily planted with the likes of Pyrus, Rhododendrons, Crinodendrons. Um, you do quite often see them planted in pots as well, particularly for winter interest as all skimmias will hold these delightful buds all the way through um, the cold winter and then start to flower in the spring with beautiful white scented flowers. They actually have quite different scents once you get your nose into them. Um, as you can see, there's a pretty reasonable range of choice in the flower shape and also, oh, the bud shape I should say, and the bud colour. Um, obviously, the most well known of the skimmias is the rubella, um, which comes through at this time of year as a lovely plant absolutely packed full of buds and it'll hold these sort of ready pinky buds all the way through to February March and then flower with um, lovely white scented flowers um, a great plant um, like any skimmia and any, any ericaceous plant once it's flowered it really does need a bit of a feed so always feed with a good ericaceous feed and stick an ericaceous compost but you can't really go wrong with a Jap uh, japonica rubella as I say, there's a whole lot of bud on there and that's going to give you an extremely good show. Now, completely different, but still a skimmier, is this new variety called White Globe. Again, this is a male variety, so it will not bury. You do need a male and a female to bury. Um, now, this will reach a height of about 1.5 and a spread of about 1.5. But as with, as with most winter flowering plants, you do have to be patient. Skimmias are not the fastest growing of plants. Um, so this will actually form literally a white globe. So the name is, as it says on the tin. Um, and I think this one has a slightly sort of lily, lily of the valley type scent to the flowers. So again, you know, if you plant these, underplant them with bulbs and things like that, you really do get a fantastic spring display. So that's a new variety white globe. Okay, and here we have a variety that's really only came to Provender Nurseries two or three years ago, and this is a variety called Finchie. Um, again, lovely white buds. Um, slightly less compact growth if you compare it to the white globe. So although you do have the same colour flowers, as you can see, the white globe has slightly shorter flowers and a more compact growth, whereas the Finchie is, is slightly larger and slightly taller, and the growth is a lot less compact. Um, but basically, do pretty much the same thing. So as we said, great plants for um, winter scent. And you do have the uh, females. These are the ones that will bear the berries. So this is one called Vici, um, also known as Formanii. So this is the one you need to plant with any of the others that have already been shown to you if you do actually want the red berries. As you can see, it does tend to have a slightly larger leaf, so you would probably plant this sort of towards the middle of the border. Now, as you can see, most of the bud colours are cream or red, but there are some new varieties coming through. This is a new variety called Hot Chocolate, which has slightly bronzy, darker stems. Not sure if you can see that. Um, and sort of bronzy colour buds. But again, that will open to white scented flowers. Um, and you have this one, which is a sport of rubella, and this one's called Rumbo. So it has all the best qualities of a rubella. Um, but again, sort of slightly, slightly longer and slightly less dense flowers, panicles. So there we are. There's skimmias for today. Um, sometimes they do get a bit of a bad press because if you don't feed them, they can become quite chlorotic, which is when you tend to get the yellow leaves on them. But like any plant, if it's well fed, it'll be happy.